What grade are you in class? Five. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You need to work hard. All righty. Well, Mr. IP, let's say grade five was easy. Yeah. And grade six? Grade five was very, very simple. Grade five was a piece of cake. I, I wish I would go back to grade five. Grade five was so sweet. <laughs> Classy, did you hear that? So you should talk to Mr. Ipile. He'll help you out. Uh -huh. Dava, how was your week, sweet? I reject. It was great. What grade are you in, Dava? One. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, great. We thank God. So hopefully grade one will be a piece of cake as well. Um, all righty. Mr. Denley, how are you? Great. How are you feeling now? Fine. Oh, great. Good to see you, sweetie. How was your week? All righty. Fantastic. Great. The Kumalos, how are you, sweetie? Fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. Not fine. Not good at all. My grade is terrible. Okay, great news. Wait, what yeah, is and easy? Get is easy. Get six is hard. Get is easy. Yeah, yeah, this week was really boring. I agree with that. Great is so boring. It's not really boring. <laughs> Shame, guys. I'm sorry. I think it's because you guys are learning on, online. So we hopefully we want to. Six is we hard. Even, we even did PE on Zoom. Imagine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like really i understand please i'm sorry okay um awa how are you sweetie i'm fine how was your week it was nice what were you doing okay miss lulu mute the mic Continue. Go on. Go on. Continue talking. How was your week, sweetie? It was fine. What were you up to? I was doing school work. Ah, okay. That's great. That's great. All righty. Um, I think we have Maka and Maita. Hi, sweetie. Okay, you guys need to unmute your mic. So just press on the phone. There's something. Yeah, great, great, great. They got it. All righty. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay, now I can't find Mark. Oh, Fine. great. Which one is Maka and which one's Maita? I'm Maka. Hi, Maita. All righty, what grade is Miss Maka? I'm in grade four. All righty, and Maita? One. Wow, all righty, great. Welcome, guys. So good to see you. All righty, welcome. Um, we have, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mandisi and Monji, hi, sweetie. Mandisi and Momo, your, your mic is on mute. Okay, Mandisi and Monty probably can't hear me. That's fine. Um, Hello, Andy Mara. How are you, sweetie? I'm fine. Great. How was your week? Great. Ah, fantastic. You didn't have lots of schoolwork. I did. Okay, but it was great for the same. We thank God. All righty. Um, I am cool. in the same grade as Ipili. Oh, so you are in grade six? Yes. 
I'm also in grade oh. six. Um, yes, how and we... <laughs> All righty, okay, that's fine. Oh, um, you can justify that. Ariel, hi, Ariel. Hi, I'm Tamara. How are you, Speedy? I'm fine. Great. How was your week? Okay, I don't know if it's my network. Um, I'm not sure, but that's fine. Miss Dewey, where is Dewey? I think I see Dewey somewhere. Okay, um, I think she'll come back. Miss Jewy will come back. That's fine. ZFM, hi. ZFM's video is off. And then someone just joined with TZ2327. Um, 2327. I'm not sure who that is, but once you join again, just let oh, me know. I raised yeah. up my hand. Oh, your hand is oh hi, sweetie. Hello. How are you? Good. Hi, I'm Tamara. All righty. How was your week? Good. Hi, Miss Julie. Someone said. Uh huh. Great. I'm Good fine. to see you. All righty. How was your week? Hi, Hi, sweetie. What's your name? My name's Hannah. Hannah, all righty. Welcome, Miss Hannah. Um, who's that next to you? Hi, sweetie. What's your name? Sorry? Kirsten. Kirsten. Um, Hannah, Hannah, what's your sister or friend's name? Kiki. Okay, oh, Kiki. All right. Welcome. Welcome, sweetie. All right. We have Koya and Jen. How are you, sweetie? Hi. How are you doing? Good. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to. It seems as though it's okay. We're good to go. All righty, happy Sabbath, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Um, I'm glad you guys had generally a good week, except for the great sixties who are complaining about a lot of work. Um, but generally, I think everyone had a great week and we want to thank God for that. Okay. So before we start, I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to ask Classy to pray for us. Classy, would you please pray for us? Okay. Let us close our eyes and pray. Our mm -hmm. Father, our Father, in heaven, please guide us as we start our class. Please, please guide us to to not have mistakes and please, please, please help, help those that we trust and we can healing and please, please help this coronavirus to go away in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Classy, for the powerful prayer. All righty, who remembers what we learned last week? What did we learn last week? Last week, we learned about the world dances. Excellent. Great job, Mr. Ipile. We learned about the world dances, and what did we say about the world dances? That was chapter what of the book? That was chapter oh. what? Oh. Excellent. Yeah. Chapter four. So today we are on chapter five. And what wow. did we say about the wild dances? What did we learn about the wild dances? Um, that they used to preach the gospel of God and then they were persecuted and then they had to go to the mountains. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, they, and they started staying in the mountains. 
All righty. Miss Tino, hi. I do think hi to Miss Tino. Hi, Miss Tino. How are you, sweetie? Okay, great. All right. I'm muting everyone because there's some background noise that I can hear. So once you want to speak, just unmute yourself. All right. So remember, we said the Waldenses lived in mountains and they built, um, they lived in caves, but their caves were like built in caves. And they actually had a church. I only noticed it um, yesterday. Uncle Libs and I were researching on the Waldenses and we came across something. Um, when they actually had a Waldensian church, it was so beautiful, guys. I kid you not. All right. And what else? What was our verse for last week? What was our verse or the quote that was in your notes? Somebody, anybody who remembers, please unmute yourself. Somebody, anybody who remembers, please unmute yourself. What was our verse for last week? Yes, Miss Tino. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and my path. Okay, in the light unto my path. That was our verse for last week, but one. Okay, last week's verse was be faithful. It was from Revelations two verse ten. So I see that people did not memorize verse that's fine we'll work on it this week and we'll need to do two verses okay and then the verse that miss tino was about to tell us from last week but one um what was the topic for last week but one what was the topic what was the chapter in the book the third chapter Ladies and gentlemen, let us use our minds and think fast. Last week's lesson. Sorry? Last week's lesson. Last week, this but one. About the world yes, last this week was good. the world dances. How about last week, but one? What do you mean by last week, but one? The week, the week before last week. What is the third chapter of the book? Mr. IP. <laughs> Do you understand the question now, Mr. IP? Eh? The era of spiritual darkness. An era of spiritual darkness. Excellent. That was the, what was the second chapter? The third was an era of spiritual darkness. What was the second? Persecution. Uh huh. Persecution in the first century, and the first one. Um, the destruction of Jerusalem. Great job! Great job! Fantastic! So today we are on chapter five, and who knows what topic we are doing today? We are doing chapter five. For those that joined uh, today, there's no problem. Hold on, hold on. Those that joined today, there's no problem. I have notes that I give you guys in the group. So just ask mommy or daddy to join the WhatsApp group and I will send you the notes um, to the chapters that we are doing. So if you're visiting today and it's your first time coming, um, join the WhatsApp group and then you will receive notes for the chapters that we are doing. So today we are on chapter five and I am asking what um, the topic for chapter five is. Someone was speaking, please go no. on. John Y. Y. Cliff. <laughs> Great job. John Lewis. John W. Y. C. Life. <laughs> <laughs> the topic is in the Bible. The topic is John Y. Cliff. Y. Cliff. What happened to John Y. Cliff? John Y. Cliff. Was. Sorry, someone was speaking. I was muting the other guys who were making noise. Please go on. It was Mandis who was speaking. Okay, Mandisi. John Mycliffe was one of the smartest people 
and he go, and he went to high school and got hold of the Bible and is memorized it and started it. And started what? Okay, someone, I don't know who's thing is making noise. Mandisi, what were you saying? Please go on. All right. Okay, so John Wycliffe was a very, very, very smart guy. Uh-huh. And what happened to him? That's what Mr. Mandisi had told us. Denley, is your hand up? Denley, yes, you can go on. Excellent, excellent. And so with the help of his friends, Wycliffe got the Bible and he was able to translate the entire Bible to English. Remember, we say that the Waldenses um, would have parts of the Bible written on their garments. And then they also translated the Bible to other languages, such as the Italian language, because they were native Italians and some of them were French. OK, so they wrote um, the Bible in those languages. But we didn't have a copy of the English um, version yet, the one that we read today. And so John Wycliffe, with the help of his friends, are the ones who actually translated the entire Bible. And remember, um, um, OK, someone is saying they can't hear. Please check your network. But if anyone else confirms that they can't hear me, then I think it will be my network. So just check your network, sweetie. OK. OK, so we say that John Wycliffe translated the entire Bible to English, but there was no printing press. And so it took a long time because people had to write in the Bible with their hands. All right. Anyone else who studied their notes? Anyone else? OK, yes, Denley. He also his friends and then the, the judges were angry and then the battles wanted they wanted to kill him but they they told him to come and he asked his friends to come so the friends went with him and the friends were praying to him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so um the person that um when he then had he to as the judge is um, the Pope, Pope George was not happy about what he was doing. And so when they heard about it, they then called him and said, you need to come for trial. Because remember, we say that people were not allowed to read the Bible. And the Pope didn't want people to study the Bible in their own language. And so that's why he was called to trial. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Denny. All right. Anyone else? Is anyone else hand up? Do I see any other hand? Yes, Auntie Maya. Yes, sweetie, go on. Well, he just wanted to say hi, Auntie Mar. Hi, Auntie Mar. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm fine. Great. How was your week? Good. Ah, fantastic. Good to see you. All righty. So remember the translation of the Bible. Okay, Lulu's hand is up. Yes, Piri, go on. Um, John Wilkins. Wycliffe. 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 Okay, I'll say it seven Wycliffe. times. Seven. seven represents completion, so it will stick in your mind. It's John Wycliffe. Wycliffe. John Wycliffe. John Wycliffe, John Wycliffe, John Wycliffe, John Wycliffe, John Wycliffe, seven times. Yes, Miss Lulu, go on. John Wycliffe. John Wycliffe, um, he preached the word of God and 
Once Pop heard about it, he went, he called John Wycliffe to the cause and they planned to kill him. But God did mm -hmm. something miraculous and he and that particular day John Wycliffe died. I mean sorry, Pop died. He was called mm -hmm. Pop um what's his name? Gregory. Gregory the eleventh. Uh -huh. So um another pop he came and wait pop um John Wycliffe um God after sent, forty and, years John Wycliffe died mm -hmm. and um, John Wycliffe got sick but then God kept mm -hmm. on healing him and healing him he went through a lot of pain he went through a lot of trouble he went through a lot of things but God was with him until one day John Wycliffe had a stroke. And God allowed him to die, to rest, to sleep. Mm. Yes, yeah, so years later, the new pop, he came and took um, John Wycliffe's bones and burnt them in public mm -hmm. and put the ashes in the river. And the ashes made people know more and more about God. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so it was... It was as though when the ashes were thrown into the water, the water traveled and everywhere the water reached with the ashes, the word of God reached. You know, that's, that was quite interesting. I found that to be very interesting. Thank you, Miss Lulu, for sharing. So, you know, boys and girls, I'll give you the lessons, but for now, let's get to our craft, okay? So, this is our craft for today. We are making a Bible. And it's very, very simple. It's an overlap Bible, so which means you can open it. Sorry, Auntie and Mara, we can't seem to hear you this side. And so who can't hear me? Me. Someone said they can't hear me, um, but I can't see who it is. Can you hear me? Um, who do I? Lulu, can you hear me? Yes, yes Aunt Mara, it's Koko. Yeah, and Dean Blondie, who can't hear you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, where are they? I'm trying to find them. Miss Yaya. Yeah. Okay, so they'll probably need to check their network. If you can hear me, then. Yandi, please check your network, sweetie. If it persists, just let me know. All righty. So we are making this Bible, and it's a Bible that we are going to open, and we'll have the New Testament and the Old Testament, and then this is our verse for today, okay? So it's very, very simple. We are going to start. Um, I hope you guys can see it's inverted because this is a French camera. So it's written, um, the holy is in reverse, but I hope you guys can see nonetheless so this what do we have on top here what is this known as this what is this known as it's a excellent scroll. excellent so we have a scroll to represent the ancient bible because before the bible was compiled into a book they were um found in school so it's very simple just get your white paper and i'll guide you through so get your white paper and um you want to measure about, if you have your ruler, you want to measure. Um, I don't have a ruler. Okay, those that don't have a ruler, don't worry, I'll show you what you need to do. If you don't have a ruler, you want to divide your paper into three, okay? This one. So the middle part will be the longest, and then the size will be shorter. So you just um, bring your paper together like this, and find a place where it meets like this. I'm going to show you just now, Miss Hadassah. Hold on, sweetie. Did you say it? So I'm, I'm just going to show you. Do you have a ruler? I Tisha, say I did the, st the step. If you don't have a ruler, you just need to do this. You need to fold your paper like this. Um, so I'm trying to show you. So this is your paper when it's open. 
and then you just bring it together here, here like this. So if you don't have a ruler, you just use your eyes to see, um, to judge how much you want it to be. But if you do have a ruler, then you are going to measure eight centimeters from the end. You measure eight centimeters from, you measure eight centimeters from here to here on your paper. So this is going to be eight centimeters. My paper is not really that long. Okay, if your paper is not an A4 paper, just for, let, please, may I see your paper, Miss Adasa? Yeah. Okay, that's an yeah, A4 paper. It is long. So where you folded it, that's correct. It's okay. It will work, Adasa. What you're doing is correct. Just fold it. Okay. So those that have a paper like mine, like this one, just measure eight centimeters from this side to here and eight centimeters from here to here. And then, great job, Miss Hannah. Great job. That's correct. Well done. And then you fold it. That's how you have your, um, your the overlap that we are making. Okay. So if anyone else is done, just raise your paper so that I may see. Great job, Miss Tino. Um, great job, Miss Hadassah. <laughs> Okay, the Kumalos are not yet done. Makan Maita are not yet done. Okay, great job, Toya and Jen. Great job, sweetie. I'm done. Okay, raise the Namwe. Okay, great job, sweetie. Just make sure that your paper is closing when you bring it together. Ray. Okay, Brendan and Paida are asking that I explain again. All righty, sweetie. Let me explain again. Hold on, give me a minute. Great job, Jason. Great job, Mr. Ipile. Um, all righty, okay. I think those that have their papers up, I'm done seeing. Okay, Jason and Pida, if you have a ruler, measure eight centimeters. Um, let me look for another paper. So this is your paper, right? This is your paper, Jason and Pida. So measure eight centimeters from here, um, going inside the paper like this. You just measure eight centimeters. So once you've measured eight centimeters on this side, you put a fold. And then from the other end, you measure eight centimeters going this side and you put a fold. So once you've measured eight centimeters on both sides, you then have two folds that um, overlap. Sorry, Uncle Leaves is taking a picture for the WhatsApp thing. So let me just um, fold this one again and show you what I mean. So you will have eight centimeters. Are you done with that one? Okay. Not yet. All righty. Hold on. So once you fold it one side like this, they'll come in together. So this side will be eight centimeters. The other side will be eight centimeters. And then you just fold them. Do you understand, Pida and Jane? Do you understand, sweetie? Yes, yes, we understand. Okay, great. All righty. So once you've done that, the next stage now is to keep your book. We are working on the outside first. So keep it closed, keep it closed, keep it closed. We want to um we want to put the yeah. And tomorrow. Yes, we do. Yes, Miss Ariel. Um, so I have a ruler, but I still don't know like which part of the paper I should I should put I should measure eight centimeters. Okay, hold up your paper. Hold up your paper. Let me show you. Okay. Okay, so while Ariel was showing me, I'll, I'll show everyone else the next page. Let's see. Let's see. 
Yes, baby. Auntie Mira. Yes. Auntie Yes, uh, is this the right way? Yes, great job. Great job. Great job. Is this the right way? Yes, great job. Okay, hold on. Great job, Titi. Great job, everyone. All righty. So I'm showing you guys the next stage now. Once you're done folding your paper like this, um ariel i'm coming to you speedy i think ariel is the one that's left once you're done folding your paper like this we now want to draw the scrolls okay so you want to draw the scroll on one side and on the other side we're drawing both sides both sides will have the scroll so i'm going to start with one side and um I'll put i don't the hand know how to do a scroll i will show you how to draw a scroll don't worry so hold on, just hold on for a minute. I am drawing mine and then I will show you how to do it just now, okay? Okay, so the first stage when you're drawing your scroll is to put the handle. So I'm only going to show you how to draw one side. Okay, you can use a crayon if you're using pencil crayons. The last option would be a pen. Uh, okay, that's fine. No problem. All right, great. Shandisa pen. All right. So once you're like, once you're done, this is what you do first. You put the handle. I'm trying to show you. Um, it's yeah. Okay, just focus. So put your handle. That's the handle of the scroll. Remember, this is our scroll. This is the bigger picture of the scroll. Okay, so put your handle first like that. I hope everyone can see. The first stage is to put your handle and then you put this line. My line is about five centimeters long. Yeah, so that's the handle and the scroll. Yes, sweetie. Go, go. Do we need to do on the other one? Yeah. Yes, you're going to do it on both of them. You're going to do this one in the other one. So I'm only going to show you how to do this one. Then you repeat the same things that will have done on the other side. Okay? So you can choose to do it step by step doing both sides. But I'll finish this side first and then do the other one. Yes, we do. Okay, great. Auntie, Auntie Mira, Auntie Mama. Mara. Yes, Miss Hannah. My my line is is six and a half centimeters. Okay, that's fine. There is no problem. It's all dependent on the size of your paper. So if it fits on your paper, there's no problem. Feel free to make it six and a half or five, whatever works for you. So now I'm putting the other line. Um, yeah. The other line. Oh, great. Someone is done already. Fantastic. Great job. Okay, I'm putting the other lines now. It's good. Okay. Tamara. Broken. Yes. Sorry. My is broken. Oh, please sharpen it. Do you have a sharpener? Uh, I do. Yes, sharpen it. Okay, so this is the next stage. Um, you then draw this line like this, like this. I've made mine 12 centimeters like this. Okay, going down. I've made it 12 centimeters. Auntie so now Mara, I'm done. I'm done. Yes. Okay, Mr. Mara, I already completed mine. You I'm just some coloring. Oh, okay. That was fast. All righty, sweetie. No Aunt problem. Tamara. So now, yay. And tomorrow, okay. um, yes, sweetie. The phone is on six percent. Can no, I charge no. it? Yes, but if you charge, it, if you go and charge it, we might be done when you come back. You can charge it um while you use it. 
Or you can share um, with Jason. Auntie Mara. I can yes. share with um, Jason. I... Yes, you can go and share with Jason. Okay, I will. All righty. I don't, I don't somewhere. Okay, so I'm, I'm done drawing this part. I'm now going to put the bottom handle okay. here, like what I did on the top. Okay, now it's going to be. So now I'm just need... going to repeat. I'm going to repeat the same process is what I did here and will be done. So then you guys will need to um, do the other side by yourself because it's the same process. So I'm now drawing the bottom side of our square. Okay, and there we are. So there is one side of our scroll. Now you're just going to repeat the same process and do it on this side. Remember what you want to achieve. Yes, sweetie. This is what we want to have. So you're going to repeat it on the other side, okay? So I'm just going to show you for um, the last time while I look for a song to sing as you guys repeat it um, on the other side. Uncle Leibs, do you want to take a picture? Okay. Let's get a test. Nothing. <laughs> and to my left. Yes. 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 Auntie Mara. Okay, all righty, all righty, all righty. Uh, I am looking for the song. Sweetie, please connect it to the group. Thank you. Auntie Mara, I'm done. Who is done? Stanley. All righty, sweetie. You're done with drawing both sides. I'm also yes. done. Thank okay, you. Great. Okay, so let me show you what the I next day is. Okay, okay, I think everyone, most people are done, that's fine. Let me show you what the next stage will be in a minute. Let me just do this again. Auntie Mara, I've done this so far. Sorry, let's see. Oh, okay, you've already drawn. All righty, that's beautiful. Well done, Ray, that's, that really looks beautiful. It is huge and beautiful. All right, I'm drawing my scroll the other side. Dre has already done coloring. So hold on, everyone. Just hold on. Um, once we're done with the other side of the scroll, we then move to coloring, OK? OK. OK. Okay, so once you're done drawing your scrolls, you then draw the the Bible, the middle part, which you then write Bible. Okay, once you're done drawing both scrolls, these two, you have two scrolls on your paper now. You should have two scrolls, and then in the like this, you have two scrolls, and then in the middle, you write Holy Bible. Okay, so you can use any print that you want, like what Ray did. Ray put a very nice print. Ray, please hold up your paper so that others can see the print you used. Um, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There. Okay, there's Ray. So Ray's, um, Ray's the Namwe. You can look at Ray's print. That's what you want to write. You want to write Holy Bible. So you can choose to write anyhow. For those that can't write yet, it's okay. Don't worry. Just leave it like that, or you can ask mommy to write for you. So you write in the middle while it's closed, Holy Bible. Okay. So you write Holy Bible while it's closed, and then you color, okay? 
so this is what these are the colors I chose for my Bible. I chose um, pink as the background, and then I did brown for the scroll handles, obviously, because the scroll handles are brown. And then, um, and thereafter, and thereafter you um, color yellow or an off-white or a pale color for the page. Did we use any color? Yes, you can use any color. Choose your color, any color that you want. Any, 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 any color that you want. Yes. Yeah, the mm -hmm. in writing only five. All right. Great job, great job, fantastic. That looks nice. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Mr. Ndaba? Then we showed me the paper. Okay, Miss Tino, please raise your paper. And Tamara, should we cover the back too? You can color the back here. You can color the back if you want to. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, great job. You know, beautiful. Beautiful. 
Okay, Manka and Maita, please may I see your papers? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, great job. Let's keep going. Mr. Ipile. Mr. Ipile, please may I see your papers? All right, great job, Steve. Great job. Londi, Ayan, please may I see your paper? Um, Koko, please may I see your paper? Koko, Londi. Let's see. That's your day work. Coco, wait, open your scroll. Let's see, Coco. I select, please. Are you ready to play? Okay. okay. So that's fine, Miss Coco. That's fine. And keep coloring. One hour. Let's see your paper. Hour. Yes. Let's see your paper. Yeah. All righty, great job, great job, Mr. Awa. You can color your paper. Okay, Jason and Ariel, let's see your paper, sweetie. Whoa. Okay, great job. Bi. Great job. Okay. I saw Ray Peter. I saw Ray Peter. Hey. Teacher, I just finished the background for the front. I'm doing the back. Okay. Great, great, great. Brendan and Pida, please may I see your paper? And by the way. Okay, great. Great job. Great job. All right. Let's color, let's color. Nandi and Kuzi, welcome, sweeties. I think I didn't see you guys. I didn't say hi to you. What grade are you in, Nandi and Kuzi? Kuzi is ECDB. I'm grateful. All right. And okay, welcome, Nandi. Welcome, Kuzi. Great job, sweeties. All right. That's fine. Um, Miss Hannah, TT, and um, Jewy, please may I see your papers? Wow, that's beautiful, Miss Hannah. Well done. All righty. Uh, okay, fantastic. Great. Okay, great, great job, you guys. Great job, TT. Great job. Beautiful. Wow. You guys are doing great. Well done. Mandisi and Monli, please may I see your paper, sweetie? Okay, great job, Mandisi. Well done. Yes, Auntie sweetie. Mara. Yes, sweetie. Yeah. Please watch it done. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. She can finish all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell everyone because someone is making noise. Then you can unmute yourself later. Toya and Jen, please may I see your paper, sweetie? Okay, now I can't find her. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find you. I was on your chat. Now I can't find you. Um. All righty, beautiful, beautiful, great job. All righty, great. Well done. Um, who is this? Mr. Blessed, welcome. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Fine. Great. How was your week? It was fine. What were you up to? Uh, nothing. <laughs> All right. Were you not doing schoolwork? Yeah, 
Uh -huh. All righty, that's fine. Okay. Do you have your paper today? Uh, let me search for one. Okay, that's fine. Um, Miss Hadassah, Miss Hadassah, please may I see your Bible? Beautiful, great job, sweetie. That looks beautiful. Well done, well done. Um, Enzi Wemaposa, welcome, sweetie. Um, okay, once your video is on, then you can show me your paper. Um, for those that just joined, you can check the WhatsApp group. Uncle leaves is sending instructions. In case you are left behind, just check in the WhatsApp group. If you don't have my number or Uncle Leaves' number for the WhatsApp group, just um, type in the comments and um, type in the comments and I'll send you my number. If you're watching on Facebook, just do the same and type in the comments and I'll send you my number. Okay. So now I think everyone is done with the outside. We are moving on to the inside. Something on the inside. Auntie Mara, I already started. Auntie Mara. Oh, Auntie Mara. In my woo, woo, woo. Yes, 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 yes. Auntie yes. Mara. Yes, 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 my baby. Um, yes. Why not you gun coloring? Outside. I will give you the instructions for those that are done, okay? And then once you are done with the outside, you can move on to the inside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Oh, what a change in my life. And so we're getting to the inside of the Bible. Remember when you study God's word and you take it inside, it hangs to bring about change on the outside. So if you used to disobey mommy and daddy and your teachers, or you were unkind because you are studying God's word, there has to be change on the outside. You can't just say, oh, I'm a Christian in my heart. I'm a Christian and I love God. And yet we don't see the fruits outside. Mm -hmm. So we need to see the fruits of what is happening inside on the outside, okay? And what you do on the outside has to show what's on the inside. So others will say, oh, I'm a Christian. They'll dress nicely, they'll be kind, but yet in their hearts, they do not really love God. So on the inside and on the outside, it both has to be clean and smart. So we're getting on to the next task, okay? So the inside for our verse, I think, mm, mm, mm. our verse is 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.16, 2 Timothy 3.16. So I'm going to ask you guys to write the verse, even if you're not yet done on the outside, so that I say it once, okay? I'm going to ask you guys to write the verse so that I say it once. And then you can finish off coloring the outside while I do another song. So let's do... Um... Auntie Mara, can I screenshot it so that I don't have to ask? Okay, that's fine. And if you have your Bible, then it's okay too. Second Timothy 3.16. Okay, so someone wants to screenshot yes, it. I it by myself. Auntie Mara... So Ooh, hold on, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish speaking. All right, 
I was saying, if you can't write, don't worry, just leave it and color the middle of your Bible. If you can't write, if you can't write, if you can't write yet, don't worry. You're just going to color the middle of your Bible. You can put the center of your Bible. You can put a heart to show that you love Jesus, but you can just leave it blank. So draw what you want in the center that speaks Bible to you. So if the love of God says Bible to you, draw a heart or something, okay? You can put a heart or a cross, whatever that says, um, Jesus loves me. Um, so those that can write, you are going to write what I am going to read. So I'm going to read out what you are writing. Okay, so we're reading, we're writing second Timothy. Timothy is T, T for T, the T that we drink, T for tree. Okay, T. I you talk about that, I understand. Okay, okay, that's fine. And then I, I, I for ink, I for ink, I for, I for what? I'm reading this. Thank you. Um, Peter, can I write the spelling in the chat? Yes, you can. Please do so. So, Timothy, T I M mm, for Mara, M for Monkey, M I for see, Monday. And then I sent the spelling. Okay, thank you, Ray. <laughs> Ray sends the spelling, that's fine, Ray. I'll read it out for grade ones that are on Facebook that can't see the spelling and the grade ones that are here. So those that can see the spelling in the chat, Ray has done it for us. Great job, Ray. Thank you so much, sweetie. You are a star. Okay, so 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. So 2 Timothy 3, 16. And then O, O for opposites. After me is O. O for orange, eh? After m, mm, o. After m, mm, o. And then, and then T again, T again. The one that we wrote in the first, the first time, the one that you wrote for. Then you write T again, and then you write H, H for house. Ha ha ha. H. And also for heads. Yes, and also for heads. Great. And then you write Y, Y for yo yo, yo yo, yo yo, yo yo. So Timothy, that's, that's Timothy. Okay, hold on, I need to check something. Um, I for you. Why for you? Why for you? Why yes, for you? for you? Why for you? Excellent. And then you write 316. 3 verse dot dot 16. 16 is 1 and 6. And then the verse Auntie says. Mara. Yes, sweetie. And you said you can write in 3 and dot dot and also. Okay, okay. Auntie, Auntie Mara. Yes, sweetie. Um, after after T, what do you write? H H. Okay. Which T? The first T or the last T? The last T. Okay. H H for hip. H for house. Okay. All right. And then after the H, for the spelling for the word. Huh? I wasn't there. What were you talking about? Okay, I'm muting, I'm muting everyone because there are a lot of say there are a lot of people saying Auntie Mara, and I can't hear you if you all speak at once. So I'm moving on to the verse. I'm going to ask Ray to type in the verse in the comments, okay? Ray is going to type yes, in teacher. the verse in the comments. 
Auntie Mara. Auntie Wait. Mara. Hold on, hold on. And then once Ray is done typing, those that can't write it's okay, just leave it and draw a heart. If you can write, then you copy the verse in the comments. Then those that are on Facebook, I will read the verse out to you. Okay, yes, Mr. Blessed. I have the King, I have the New King James Version Bible. It's okay, to... excellent, excellent. So you can copy the verse from your Bible, sweetie. That's fine. Okay, Ray, the verse is saying, all scripture, all scripture, the old and the new. Okay, the explanation is mine. Let me read the verse first because Ray will get confused. The verse is saying, all scripture is God breathed. All scripture is God breathed. Can you spell it? No, not yet, not yet. Miss Tino, I, I won't spell the entire verse. You can copy it in the comments, okay? You can copy it in scripture. Okay, Ray. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uncle Leeds, please type in the verse in the comments. Auntie Mara. Like in the... Oh. In the Auntie Mara. Auntie Mara. Yes. Is it? Yes, sweetie. Uh, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Uncle Libs is going to assist us right now. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Auntie Thank you. Mira. Auntie, Mi Auntie Mara. Yes, Miss Hannah. Um, when we're done saying Timothy, what do we do? The verse is what is the one I'm reading now. So it's 2 Timothy 3. Okay. You write 3 in numbers. And then you put dot, dot, 16, like this. Miss Hannah, can you see? Yes. Uh -huh. Three dot, dot. Can I get my Bible? Okay, um, Ipile wrote another version for us. Thank you, Mr. Ipile. Um, I think that's the NIV, yeah. So we'll just have different versions. Um, yes, yes, sweetie. Um, after we write three dot dot and then one six sixteen. Okay, I'm done touching sixteen. Okay, and then now copy the verse that's in the chart. Just go to the chart. You press your phone where it's written more. And then you press where it's written and chat. There's a verse there that a boy named Ipile wrote to everyone. Okay. okay. You press your phone you more, and then you press chat, and then you see the verse. And then you see a verse that I wrote there. There's the verse that I wrote. So you can choose to copy mine or Ipile's. It's the same verse but it's just different versions, okay? So I'll read out mine um, for the benefit mm -hmm. of those that can't see the chart, and then that will be it. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, okay? All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That's our verse for today. What that verse means, boys and girls, is that the entire Bible, the old and the new, were written under the instruction of God. God is the one who told Moses, right? Which books did Moses write? Which books did Moses write? Genesis, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Epiller. 
he wrote the first five books of the Bible, which are known as the Pentateuch. Pentateuch. Those are the first five books of the Bible. And so Moses wrote those books with the exception, of course, of the last chapters of Deuteronomy, where we are told that Moses died and, you know, how he was then buried, but no one knew where he was and everything. That's someone else. I have a wrote. question. Okay, 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 Mr. Yeah. Peter, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. So that part now was written by people that saw the events because Moses was dead already, okay? But we know that the dead know nothing. Once a person has died, they are dead and they are waiting for Jesus to come again, okay? So Mr. Ipile has a question. Mr. Ipile, what is your question, sweetie? In Deuteronomy, they talk about Moses' death. But then how did he write after he was dead? Did I feel it? That's what I was saying right now. I said that the entire book, okay, for example, who wrote the book of Daniel? Daniel. Yes. We are told that Daniel wrote the book of Daniel. But there's a chapter where King Nebuchadnezzar actually then speaks of how I, Nebuchadnezzar, did this and that and that and that, right? So it's the book of Daniel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And most of the chapters were written by Daniel, with the exception of that one chapter. So the same thing happens in the book of Deuteronomy, where... Um, Moses writes what is in the book of Deuteronomy, but with the exception of um, the chapters that talk of his death, okay? So people that were present and living at that time write of Moses' death. Moses was dead, so he didn't write it. So the Pentateuch was written by Moses, except those parts. The same way we know that David wrote the, books of, the book of Psalms, right? But we have chapters where Asaph writes something in their songs of so and so. So authors can compile something, but the book is still referred to as the book of a certain writer. Because my they Bible have the also way. says that uh, when it says the question, who wrote it? Moses, the final part was written by the different author, perhaps Joshua. Excellent. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Ipile. So it was written by a different author. Exactly. Someone who was alive when those things happened. And so some scholars say probably it was Joshua because Joshua was a very close, um, he was like Moses' deputy. And so he was always there with Moses and he had authority. So the likelihood is that he wrote it. Okay, great, Mr. Ipile. I'm glad you understand and you are testing me with your questions. Huh, great job. All righty. Auntie Mara. You yes, sweetie. I also wanted to say that uh, other people who wrote the book of the Bible had visions like Job. I think Job or uh, I forgot the person. Excellent. So we have writers of the Bible that have visions. Um, for example, Amos has a vision. And he writes in the Bible concerning his vision. The visions are dreams that are inspired by God, okay? So there's the issue of the, the plumb line where he mentions, Uncle Lee, where he Auntie mentions Mara, that, can I write the version that it shows in my Bible, in the chat? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Auntie yes. Mara. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is when we then realize that um, the, the servants of God would then write the Bible um, relating the visions that they had. Okay, someone distracted me. Someone said, Auntie Mara, yes, please go on. I think it was Toto. Yes, Toto. Will we copy the verse that you send it? Yes, you should copy the verse that I sent in the chat. Okay. In the middle, in the center of your book, of your Bible.
that's where you are copying your verse like what i did once you're done copying the verses i'm speaking you're coloring the inside of your bible okay great so i'm going to sing a song and i hope you will be done by then and then we're going to do a short activity a very short activity and then we will do the lesson and i think we'll be good to go because we are almost done okay For long and no prophetic vision until Samuel was called for a mission. Although he was twelve, he took the call of God's provision. And he was used by God for his people's redemption. Israel for long had no prophetic vision. And so some was called for a mission. Although he was twelve, he hit to the call of God's provision. And he was used by God for his people's redemption. Children bring back home and a hopeless world. Living your life holy blameless be when grandparents do delay, my parents do delay, children will bring back home. Children bring back hope in a hopeless world. Living through a life holy blame, let me when grandparents do delay, if my parents do delay, children will bring back home. Children will bring back hope. Today's is now spending too much time on television. Yeah, we each have been called for a mission. Although we are young, we'll hit to the call of God's hope. And be used by God for his people's redemption. Today seems proud, spending too much time on television. Yet we each have been called for a mission. Although we are young, we'll hit to the call of God's provision. And be used by God for his people's redemption. Children bring back hope in a hopeless world. Living pure as holy place, let's be when grandparents do delay. If our parents do so bad, children will bring back hope. Children bring back hope in a hopeless world. Living pure as holy place, let's be when grandparents do delay. If our parents do so bad. Children will bring back hope when grandparents do delay. If our parents disobey, children will bring back hope when grandparents do delay. If our parents disobey, children will bring back hope. Good job. Good job.
Yes, 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 Amen. yes. I'm done. Amen. Also done. Aunt Mara. Yes, Aunt Mara. Do. Your singing is beautiful. Thank you, my baby. We thank you, God. Amen. We praise Jesus. Yes, my darling. Also, you are, like saying, you, are you are gifted in everything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I pray I will be gifted in everything. That's that's powerful. Thank you, sweetie. We praise is. Jesus. We pray. Oh, hi, mommy. I'll do it. I'll be careful. Hi, mommy. How are you? Okay, my the um, Brendan, your mic is on mute. I yeah, it's on mute. Oh, sorry. I'm saying I was listening to your singing, and I said you are gifted in everything. Oh, we praise Jesus in two things. Yes. <laughs> Please give me one gift. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about it in the inbox. I think we can share. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Great. Okay. Um, are we done? Are we done? Yes. I'm just writing the New Testament. Okay. I'm so you done can the New Testament. So you can write the New Testament and then on this side you write the Old Testament. So We'll do our countdown as we wait for those who are writing um, the New ah, Testament and the Old Testament. Let's start, start on 12. Let's start on 12. 12, 12. 12 disciples 12 of Jesus. Disciples. 12 disciples. Obviously, yes. <laughs> uh, 12. 12. 11. 11 after Judas. <laughs> yes. When Judas betrays Jesus, they are 11. 72. 72. <laughs> 72. I caught you guys off guard. Yes. 72, 72. disciples. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Great job. Great job. Okay. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10 lepers. 10, Ten lepers. lepers. Yeah. Great. Okay, so for those that are joining us for the first time, we are doing a countdown. And when I mention a number, you guys just need to tell me anywhere in the Bible where the number is mentioned. Okay, so now we are going to the number nine. You just turn YouTube mic and tell me where. Ten spies gave a wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Nine leopards did not say thank you to Jesus. Nine oh, left. Not say thank you. Okay. Eight, eight, eight. Um, 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 eight, eight people in the Bible. Eight what? Eight people eight were people saved in the Bible. Eight people were saved in Noah's Ark. Uh huh. Eight were saved in Noah's Ark. Great. Seven. Remember the, the Sabbath day. Week. Um, Peter. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember yes. the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Nine hundred. 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 Six days yes. do my labor and do all your work, but the seven days only. Oh, I said stop with my hair. Excellent. for six days. Aha! Uh -huh. Great, great, powerful. Five. 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 One basket, two fish, and. Five, five loves of foolish, five foolish wives. Five foolish wives. Yes, yes, yes. Five, five foolish virgins. Aha, uh -huh. great job, Mr. Kile, great job, great. And five um, wives. Which five wives? <laughs> which five wives? <laughs> and five wives. Oh, who? Oh, five, five. 
Teacher, I think I have to find side to show the inside. Oh, the four Hebrew boys. The four Hebrew boys. The four Hebrew boys. Uh -huh. Great, great. Four Hebrew boys. Three. One, one by one. Kasi and Daba, three. Three. Kasi and Daba, unmute yourself and tell me three. Okay, they're not there, right? Tino, do we have anything for three? The Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, great. The Trinity. Thank you, Kasi and Daba. Trinity, great. Miss Tino, do we have anything for three? Okay, I'll come back to you. Three Brendan blue, and three blue boys. Okay, three Hebrew Ooh. boys. All righty. Um, yes, we have four Hebrew boys, and then the other time Daniel is not there, then we have three Hebrew boys. Okay, great. Brendan and Pida, anything for three? Um, Daniel prayed three times a day. Excellent. Okay, so people Yay. are finishing Mr. things. When I get to Mr. Pile, he'll be dry. At least we hope. Nandi and Kuzi, do we have anything for three? <coughs> Should I pass? Yes. The three Hebrew yeah. boys. Excellent. Three Hebrew boys. Blessed. Anything for three? <laughs> Blessed. Oh, no. All righty. The Kumalos, anything for three? Um, Peter denied Jesus. Peter denied Jesus three times, and God is three in one. God, excellent. God is three in one. Great. Toya and Jen, anything for three? Okay, Jason and Ariel, anything for three? Daniel prayed three times a day. Three men were thrown into the fire, and those men were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Great job. Okay, Mr. Epile, anything for three? Um, <laughs> Jesus lay in the tomb for three days and, and rose up on the third day. And ah, Jonah was in the tomb ah. three days. Yay, yay, yay. You don't get dry. You don't oh. get dry, is it? <laughs> All righty, great job, Mr. Ipelia. Well done. Um, Ray, your hand was up, sweetie. The three shepherds. Uh, which three yeah. shepherds? The three wise men. John repented. I mean, I forgot. Peter. Okay, that's fine, sweetie. No problem. Great job. Anyone else who has anything for three? Please unmute really? yourself. You know. Yes, yes. Oh, me. Yeah, I remember. Um, Daniel had three visions. Wow. Noah's ark had three deaths. Jesus was Peter tempted Peter. by Satan three times. Yeah, you. <laughs> and Jesus restored Peter three times. Ah, uh, uh, come on. You took my answer. Yes, yes, he's a holding cyclopedia. That's good for us. That's fine. Londi and Dian Coco. Yeah, yeah. I see Yaya is holding her chin already. She was tired. Yes, my sweetie. Yes, Lord. Three Hebrew yes. boys. Uh-huh. Okay. Great job, Miss Yaya. All right. Fantastic. I think everyone who had something to say has said something. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Blessed. Put a laughing face. I don't know. Alrighty, so it's question time. It's question. Oh no, the activity that we wanted to do 
We are supposed to name 10 books of the Old Testament, 10 books of the New Testament, then we'll get to our questions for today. So for the Old Testament, those that can write, you then write down your books. If you can't write, don't worry, we're going to name them. So you name right. them. Wait, 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 here, here, here. I didn't write them so that you guys won't copy mine. So I didn't write them. You're writing here, where it's written Old Testament, you write the Old Testament books. Where it's written New Testament, you write the New Testament books. So you are telling me the book that you're telling me, you're telling me who the author is. Right? Let's in go. The order. For grade, grade one, grade one and grade one, two, three, you can just tell me the book. Grade four, five, six, seven, you have to tell me the author of the book. Okay? So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I will start with Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm meeting everyone. I'm going to go with the order that we have here. Okay, Kasi and Daba always come up first. So Kasi and Daba, you take the first one. Kasi is in grade five, which means Kasi, you're choosing a book with um, the author. Tell me which book and who wrote the book in the Old Testament. Let's move. Mr. Kasi, Mr. Kasi. Moses wrote the book of Genesis. Excellent. Okay, so Mr. Kati gave us one. You choose any of the books that you want to write. Okay, any, any out of the 66, you're just writing. So just choose any book that you want. Mr. Kati told us Genesis was written by Moses. Okay, great job, Mr. Kati. Um, Toya and Jen, if you guys are not sure, you just say because Toya and Jen, tell me any book of the Old Testament, sweetie. Is not on the Psalms. 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 Great job. Great job. And so Psalms was written by David. Great job, sweetie. Great. All righty. Um, next, Mr. Awa. 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 <laughs> our tell me is our there no okay that's quando our is here okay yes our malachi great job thank you mr our malachi quando do you want to give us one yes um come. i think jeremiah uh -huh. And who wrote Jeremiah? Jeremiah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great job, Mr. Pando. Thank you. Um, oh, yes. And I'm in Grace um, Three. Aunt Mara. Yes, Miss Lulu. Um, I didn't mention a book. Oh, Mr. okay. I'm going to come back to you. That's fine. You can tell me. Um, job, and it was written by Moses. Some job was written by Moses. Great. Yes, they do assume that it was written by Moses. And Miss Lulu chose a really difficult one. Wow. Okay. Well done, Miss Lulu. Job was written by Moses. Indeed. All righty. And the death was in the fifth century. How do you know those stuff? It, the date was in the 5th century. Yes, it was in the 5th century. I think I'll confirm. I'm not sure, but I think so. Great job. Okay, I don't know if Tari, the one who joined is Auntie Tari, my friend. <laughs> if she's the one. Hi, Auntie Tari. All righty. Um, right, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Denley. Denley, please give us a book. We are now on how many books? Four. Do we have four or five? I don't know. Okay. okay, Denley's not sure. That's fine, sweetie. No problem. Anyone else with Coco? A book, please? Yes, Coco, then yeah, yeah. Matthew was written by Matthew. 
we are still in the Old Testament. Great job, Coco. We are still in the Old Testament, though. Okay. Yes, who? Yes, Miss Yaya. Yeah. 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 We are in the Old Testament. Look at them, the New Testament. Daniel okay. was wrote by Daniel. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Yaya. Yeah, Daniel was written by Daniel. Excellent. And then Nebuchadnezzar wrote um, a, a part of it. Okay, Miss Hadassah, any Old Testament book? <clears throat> Miss Hadassah, your mic is on mute. Yes, sweetie. I'm back. Okay, which Old Testament book do you know, Miss Adasa? Pardon, what's a testament book? Um, Old Testament, like Genesis, Exodus, I Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, I Joshua, Judges. Okay. <laughs> Auntie Mara. Hold on. Auntie Mara. Hold on. Auntie Hold on. Mara. Okay, that's Miss Hannah. Yes, Miss Hannah. I'm done. Okay, great. All righty. I think we are running out of time. Let's move to the New Testament. Let's move to the New Testament. Auntie Mara. I'm just waiting for I'm going to call someone's name and then you will tell me your book. Yes, Miss Tino. Auntie Mara. Genesis and so does the video. Auntie Mara. Auntie. Auntie. That's beautiful. Well done. I'm done. Well done, sweetie. That looks mm. beautiful. Now, please send me a picture in the WhatsApp group. <clears throat> Those that are done, please send me a picture in the WhatsApp group, um, as is the custom. Um, and then I'll be able to see it better on the WhatsApp group. But that looks beautiful. Well done. Let's go to the New Testament, ladies and gentlemen. Brendan and Tyda, New Testament. E Ephesians. Uh -huh. great Ephesians. Well done. Um, right, 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 right. Nandi, Mara. New Testament. <gasps> Romans was written by Paul. Excellent. Great job, Mr. Blessed. Peter was written by Peter. Excellent. Okay, the Kumalos are offline. Mr. Ipile. Uh, for me, um, for in you. New Testament, Matthew was written by Matthew, Mark was written by Mark, Luke was written by Luke, John was written by John. <laughs> Ipile. <laughs> Ipile. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ipile. Thank you so much for that bountiful answer. All righty. Um, <laughs> Coco. <laughs> Coco, Mr. Ipile took your answer. Imagine. He just took it like that. Anyway, you can choose a different one, Coco. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. Um, Jason and Ariel, New Testament, and then I'll go to Maka and Maita. So Maka and Maita, be thinking of your answer in the New Testament. Uh, Mama. Auntie F Mama. F yes. yes. Matthew was written by Matthew. Uh huh. Jason and Ariel, please may I have your answer? X, X. X. Who wrote X of the Apostle? Paul. Uh, oh. And uh, Paul. 
And also, Esther was taken by Esther. Uh huh. In the New Testament. Thank you, Miss Ariel. Mr. Jason, please confirm your answer. Are you yes. sure Paul wrote X? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do we agree that Paul wrote the book of X? No. No. Um, <laughs> I think uh, also Luke wrote it. Uh huh. It's assumed that Dr. Luke himself wrote the book of X. Okay. That's the assumption that's there. All righty. Maka and Mayita. Yes. Maka and Mayita, which, what's your book? Hebrews. 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 Do we know who wrote the book of Hebrews? The Apostle. Hebrews. Sorry? Paul the Apostle. Paul the Apostle. <laughs> Are we sure? <coughs> Miss Ipina, who wrote the book of Hebrews? Please confirm yes. from your Bible. Okay, that's fine. We'll get confirmation in a bit. That's fine. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yes, Uncle it was okay, I think Paul wrote Hebrews. Paul wrote Hebrews. Uncle Vibs is saying that it's correct. David wrote some. Mandisi and Monli, what's your book, sweetie? Lamentation. Is that in the New Testament, ladies and gentlemen? It's not in the New Testament. Uh huh. We need a New Testament book. I got one, teacher. It sounds. Sounds is in the Old Testament. Okay, so let's go look up the books and find out which books are in the New Testament and which ones are in the Old Testament. Excuse me, we are done with this activity. It's time for us to do our questions for today. And once we are done, Uncle Libs, okay, I found this. Revelations written by John. Great job, great job. Antima was written by John. Antimara yes. Ecclesiastes was written by Solomon in the 10th century. century. Excellent. Century, 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 century. Let's go seven times. Say it after me. Century, 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 Okay, great. So now I'm looking up our questions for today's chapter, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so the, the question number one is saying, where did John start reading the Bible? John Wycliffe, where did he start reading the Bible? Where was he? In, in university. Excellent, excellent. You are a star <laughs> in university. That's when he started reading the Bible. So if you are in school, it's not too late or too early to start reading the Bible. In fact, it's a great time to start reading the Bible because John Wycliffe only found access to the Bible when he was in university. But if you have access to your Bible right now, it's a great time to start reading. Great. Name one bad thing that the papacy did that John opposed. So the papacy, remember, we say it's the system of the popes and everything. What one bad thing did they do that John said, no, it's not good? Ah, uh, yes, like that. Yes, 
And they made a certificate. They made a lie about if you if your relative is dead, you have to pay money for a certificate. And and if you get a certificate yourself, you your sins will be forgiven and the one you are to commit. Excellent. So Mr. Kwando is talking about the indulgences, the certificate. Remember that we said you had to buy a certificate for your sins to be forgiven. And they say that your dead relative. If you buy a certificate for them, they'll only burn a bit in hell and go to heaven. That was a lie written in red. A lie. A big, huge, gigantic lie. Okay? okay. So that's one thing that um, John Whiteley said not to. He also said that the fact that people had to pay money to the Pope was bad. Remember, we mentioned this last time. The Pope was a religious leader. Therefore, paying political political tribute was unnecessary in his view. And so he said that was something that was bad. Okay, great. What greatest desire did John achieve with the help of his friends? Remember we say John had one greatest desire. Changing the Bible's language. Translating the Bible to English. Great job. He translated the Bible to English, and that was Bye, not Hi, how are you? Oh, bye, bye. Oh, bye, bye. Miss Hannah. See you. We'll be done at eight. Bye. So we are like, we are eight minutes away, but it's okay. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. You are welcome. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Okay, um, I think they need to go to bed. That's fine. We'll finish uh, off. We are five. No, we are eight minutes away, so we'll be done in a bit. But I'm on. We're left with two more. Was John was John delivered from death? How was John delivered from death? How? Uh, Oh, when he got hurt, God protected him and healed him until he did his his special thing. Uh huh. That's true. Okay. Anyone else? Mister Ipile, was John delivered from death? How? A minute. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because you didn't read the notes. Did you read your notes? Yes, yes, Miss. Oh. Yes. John was delivered from death by God because God um, made the Pope die. That, that, um, that didn't enable the priest to continue or to proceed the plan of killing John. Ah, uh -huh. the Pope then died. Um, the devil is the one who kills people, remember? But God allowed it to happen, and God turned it. Remember, we say the bad situations in our life, God tends for good. And so this came as providence, and the Pope died, and people just went, and John was killed, and we praise Jesus for that. Excellent. Thank you. I think the last question is, um, who was on Jesus' side? And who was on the devil's side in this chapter? Remember, we said it's a great controversy. So there are always two The Pope sides. was on the devil's side. Uh-huh. John, was on Jesus. John Cliff was, was on, on Jesus' side. Yeah. <laughs> now everyone says the answer because they were guessing. All righty. Great job, you guys. Those that are going through their notes, great job. Please go through your notes for those that were not going through the notes. Read your notes in advance. It's just a page. So you guys will be able to follow through. Okay? All right, Edie. We have reached the end of our lesson. Does anyone have a question um, or a comment to make before I go? I have a question. Yes, sweetie. Go on. Uh, where, where do we get the notes? Are you in the WhatsApp group, Brendan? Or is your mom in the WhatsApp group? Uh, 
I, I am in the WhatsApp group. I use my mom's phone. Yes, I, I sent the notes. I'll resend them. I'll resend the ones I sent for these past weeks because you guys are meant to send me videos during the verses. So I'll resend them just after. Actually, I'll ask Uncle Leaves to send them. Uncle Leaves, please send the notes in the WhatsApp group again. Okay. No, but it's in that book. Okay, so Uncle Leaves is sending the, the notes just now. And then you can see the notes. So the notes for the coming weeks, I'm going to send them again from chapter six. Those that are not in the WhatsApp group, you or mommy can join the WhatsApp group or daddy, whoever, whoever has a phone at home can join the WhatsApp group. That's where you get the notes. Okay. Anyone else with a question? Yes, Aunt Mara. How oh, do we mm -hmm. do the cutting for the craft? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Brilliant question. Thank you, Miss Lulu. So when you, huh, great. Uh, okay, so if you had written before you cut, then it's going to be great. But let me show you mine. I'd already cut. Um, look, so you have... Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, let me see if I can show you from this paper. But I'm thinking if you had already written... Okay, great, great, great. I have an idea, or I have an idea. Or... So I cut here. Okay, so this is your paper, right? So you had already written Holy Bible. And then the two pages are like this. So the inside of where you overlapped like this, here, the first half here, this is where we're going to cut. So let me show you what I mean. The first half of the overlapping part. So you just cut half at the top, half at the bottom. It's very simple. I will show you mine in a second. Thank you, Miss Lulu, for that. I was actually, I'd actually forgotten about it. So you're not supposed to cut where you have written. You need to keep the part where you have written in top. Okay, so I'm going to cut it off and show you in a minute, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute, minute. Okay, so I've cut off, this is one side of the scroll, right? This is one side of the scroll. So you see when I close, it still says Holy Bible. So I just cut off the top part. I folded it into half. So it depends on how you folded your paper, okay? This is the part that I cut here. So if you folded your paper with this side on the outside, you just notice that there's one part that's the top and the one that's the bottom. So Wait, the part that Aunt, you Aunt Mara, how did you cut it? I cut it, no. Let me show you again, Lulu. This is one side of, hold up your paper. I want to see your paper. I think let me do it because I see your paper. Is it overlapping? No. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, if it's not overlapping, then um, hold, hold on. Okay, still, we can cut the, fold your paper in half like this, like this. This is when it's open, so just fold it in half like this. Yes. And then, let's see. Open it, open it, open it, open it. No, close it. I meant open it after folding it in half. Open it. I redid mine because I tried doing the cutting myself. It didn't work. Uh -huh. Okay, so we might need to keep it like that and put... Um, okay, let me show you another way that you can cut in your face. Because I think it would have been easier to cut it out if it was overlapping. I made mine overlapping. Look... I made mine overlapping like this, and you see? So it was overlapping such that when I opened it, there was this piece here. 
So it's the one that I just cut off. So when I cut it off, it still remains complete to say Holy Bible. So because you had already folded yours without overlapping, we'll need to find another way to fasten it. Okay? But if it's opening like this, we can keep it like that. If it's opening like this, we can just keep it like that. Okay, Miss Lulu. Aunt Mara, I can yes. make it um, overlap, but which part should overlap? Should it be my my right or my left? You choose one side that you want. The advantage, you, you are, okay, when you make it overlap, Aunt, you're supposed to draw on the overlapped page. So let me, you see this one is overlapping like this. So when I open it, this part, this part of the paper is playing. You see? I can Do you see? It. Yes, I yeah, can okay. rewrite it. I was using pencil. Okay, yeah. So if you make it overlap, when you rewrite it, you just cut the part that's overlapping. So on the on the first one, you cut half the top here. And then on the second one, you cut the bottom. Do you understand? No. Let me show you what I Okay, it's okay, don't worry. On the first part, I'll show you the colored one. It's easier to show. This is the colored one, right? So I cut the top of this one. I cut off the piece. Do you see? Yes. So one side, you cut off the top. This one, I cut off the top about half a centimeter or so. So I just cut off the top here. And then on this other side, I cut off the bottom here. You see? I cut off the bottom. Do you understand? Yes, so that's I... the overlapping. That's the overlapping flap that you then do. And then when you close it like this, it, does, it doesn't have any gaps in between. Okay? So you cut yes. off the overlapping. So you teacher, I need to close my teacher. I'm confused. Okay, okay, okay. Those that haven't done it, please don't worry. If your Bible is opening and closing, there's no problem. It's after my bedtime, so it's time for us to go. Who wants to pray for us? Who wants to pray for us? Do I see a hand? Do I see a hand? Okay, yes, Denley wants to pray for us. That's fine. Denley, please pray. Let us pray. Our kind in heaven, thank you for this day. Can you can you help us with your mighty mighty angels? Can you help us with your can you can you cover us with your holy blood? And can you be with everyone? Can you help us to chase our old days? destruction that's happening in countries in jesus name we pray amen amen thank you so much for the powerful prayer thank you boys and girls i will see your bibles in the whatsapp group and i will see you guys next week okay all righty 10 missionaries standing in a line five Hi. Bye. 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 Missionary, goodbye to missionaries. Then me One went away, and there was one missionary, missionary, goodbye. Missionary, missionary, goodbye. One missionary standing in a line. One went away and there was none. Missionary, missionary, missionary Thank you, Auntie Mara. Goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye.
Thank you. Thank you. Happy Bye. Sabbath. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Shop, shop. See you next week. See you next week. Happy